In these examples, we are dividing fractions. The first one involves a couple of mixed numbers. So as we've done with multiplication and addition and subtraction, let's change each of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So the first one, 3 and 1 half, becomes 7 over 2. The second one, 5 and 3 eighths, becomes 43 over 8. But it's very important to realize that we're still dividing. We haven't done anything with the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now that I have two fractions, I can leave the first one the same, change the division to multiplication, and then take the reciprocal of the second fraction. Looking at my denominator here, my numerator here, I see I have some common factors. So I'm going to write 7 over 2, and I'm going to write 8 as 2 times 4, and then the 43 will stay the same. 43 is actually a prime number, so we're not going to have any common factors there. So that leaves me with 7 times 4 is 28 over 43, and that is my final simplified result. In the second part of this problem, I have 3 divided by 2, and we don't usually think of this as fraction division, but let's see how this works. 3 is 3 over 1. If I'm going to do fraction division, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half. So that gives me 3 over 2 as a fraction result. That is an improper fraction. To change that to a mixed number, that becomes 1 and 1 half and these then are the results of my division.